Hi, it's Morgan McGill back here at the library um, and I am the Collider Artist in Residence this month. In the last video, I talked a little bit about this sketch of hands that I made for a mural, and I wanted to explain my thought process behind it. A lot of it has to do with the specific colors I use. I made the first sketch for this whole mural in watercolor on like a little sheet of paper and I got to the mural site at JCTC and realized I was gonna need to make a more in-depth detailed type of uh, sketch for this and so I went home and used the exterior latex paint to mix my colors and stuff and made this and then at the mural site when I was sort of finishing up I decided to add a really um, like sky blue in the background of all the hands so it really just like brought them forward and it kind of blended into the sky behind. This whole mural is based on a picture from Kentucky Refugee Ministries um, which during the pandemic in 2020 I got into um, their exhibition with Art Makes Home so we were like putting up art around the city that we had made with um, in collaboration with the refugees there. And so then this mural happened and I added a bunch of colors and stuff. And um, at the end of it, they asked for a title. So I just titled it When Women Come Together because I've been so inspired by women and also it was all women's hands, <laughs> all the artists and refugees. So what I mostly was thinking about was this thing called color theory, which I learned from my painting professor at U of L, Tiffany Calvert. And so before getting into all of that, I brought my sketchbook from that class and was going to show you a little bit. So this is my first example. You might be able to kind of see that um, these two colors look a little different. Maybe this one looks darker and this one looks lighter. And you might notice that they're against different colors in the background and they also have these two different colors. But then you find out this is the same color. So that's kind of what color theory does is like tricks your eye depending on what colors are next to each other. So this one is kind of the same. Um, you might think that this blue looks a little lighter than this one. Um, but those are the same colors as well as these are the same colors and it's just the background that's making them look different. This is called the illusion of transparency. So say you have three um, red pieces of paper like this and they're overlapping each other for the first layer that's going to be overlapping you want to make it a little bit different so that's pink now and then for like a third layer that's going to be overlapping you want it to be completely different so blue. this is another illusion of transparency it kind of looks like a page is being folded down or something but when I do these I tape it off with that blue painters tape and use acrylic paint because it dries easy and you can mix easy um, so each little teeny part would be taped off so you can paint just that part. And like I said before, whenever you have um, more layers, the color is going to be more different. So like this part that's folded would be more different than these other greens. So that's a little lesson in color theory. For complementary colors, um, you will know that they are complementary if they're on the opposite ends of the color wheel. So like blue and orange, they don't look alike at all, so they're going to be uh, kind of opposite each other. And same with red and green and yellow and purple. So it's um, always your primary colors, the blue, red, and yellow with three other colors that have to be mixed, which are the green, purple, 
like orange. Um, to go back to these hands, the thing I was thinking about most was complementary colors. So um, just as a refresher, complementary colors are blue and orange, um, yellow and purple, and red and green. So the thing that happens is when you put complementary colors together, each one of the colors pops like a lot. And so the blue and orange together would make both of those colors pop more. Pink and yellow aren't complementary colors, so those are gonna like stay in the background a little bit more. So um, I made some studies to help illustrate how it could have been with this arm right here. <laughs> So we have blue and orange to begin with, complementary colors, and now we have red and green with some brown. So it looks a little bit um, transparent, like the uh, study I showed you. With this one, we have red and green, which are complementary. Um, and then the pink that makes it kind of go back into the background a little bit. And with this one, I don't know if you can remember if there's any complementary colors in it, but red isn't a complementary color to blue or, or orange, so it's not going to pop as much. And then this one is just for fun to show you the difference if this whole arm was blue with orange accents, it would pop a lot. So that's kind of a lesson with the complementary colors and color theory that I was thinking about. And that's why all of the colors kind of go together with this mural, but it's a lot of different rules and things to be thinking about. So hopefully whatever you're doing, whether it's like remodeling your kitchen or just painting on a little piece of paper, that will help with uh, your color theory knowledge. If you are interested, come join me September 27th. We're gonna be making this cool homemade paper out of recycled stuff, and um, I'll teach you all of the things you need to know.